But enough about this boring maintenance, let's go talk about some new tractor attachments. Everything on this entire conveyor, this entire processor is gonna be driven by your PTO. We have a lot of steep hills here, areas where I can't get a piece of equipment too, so we can stretch this cable out, wrap it around the log, and yank it back uphill without being in danger. For you guys that are doing food plots, even if you're doing lawn preparation or reseeding, this can come in really handy. You can see just, a, I think this is half inch steel that you have all around here. This stuff is, is thick, it's nasty. But this thing is meant to rip a tree out, roots and all. I don't know how big you can go yet. I still gotta look into that, figure it out. Well, this solution is called an add a grapple. And so you can leave your bucket on, you can bolt on a grapple jaw to the top of it, Welcome back everybody. Today we're gonna do a little bit of work and have a little bit of fun. We're gonna get the work done first and then we're gonna tell you all about some cool new attachments that we have sitting out here. A couple still at the shop too, but we'll have some videos coming on those attachments sometime in the near future. It's a good time now to leave a comment down below if you have some questions about it, you want something answered in the video. So make sure you stick around. We gotta do some greasing on some equipment right now. We're behind on what I say is the simplest form of maintenance of all. So the main three machines we're using out here right now, we're gonna get them greased up and then we'll talk about those attachments. If you enjoyed today's video, I'd love to get a thumbs up from you. Leave a comment down below to join the conversation. Subscribe to see more. And if you want something for your tractor or your skid steer, check out goodworkstractors.com. Did you know we ship all over the country? So we're gonna be using the lube shuttle greasing systems. I'm gonna stick with the electric version here. There is a just a pistol grip style as well. Depending on how much greasing you're doing could determine if you wanna use one or the other. I just did some quick math, and this is probably wrong, but it gets it in the ballpark. But just on the loaders, on the 4720, on the skid steer, on the 1025, I counted 52 zerks, and that's not including the other attachments. You know, you have the grapple on the front, the brush hog on the back, the cedar there. We have some other stuff on there too. I think that helps paint a picture. It's a lot of greasing. That's a lot of squeezing. I wanna use the battery power as long as this battery's got juice. Now, Loop Shuttle, these guys are a little bit different than some of the other greasing systems that are out there. They are part of the GWT Discount Club. You get 5% off of your order with code GWT. You order on their website. You take off that sheath that I just did. It's a protective sheath. You unscrew your cartridge. How often do you do that on a grease gun, right? So this is a, a, a vacuum-based or a suction-based system. You can see this cartridge here is just about used up. You can see way in there, perhaps. You just push it up until the grease is right at the top, right here at the collar and the top of the throat, and you screw it in, and that's primed. Maybe a pump or two, it's primed, you're ready to go. It's very easy to change out a cartridge. We're gonna have to do that at least once today. Gonna use this one up pretty quick. I don't know if we'll go through two cartridges or not, but we're gonna find out. Now, before we hit up all of these zerks with grease, we're gonna do something I've never done before, and we're gonna use grease to tension up a track on the skid steer. Now, this may seem like a foreign concept because it kinda is to me too, I haven't done it before, but we're gonna take this cover off, we're gonna shoot some grease in there, and we're gonna tighten the track onto the idler wheels that are down here. I use YouTube myself when I'm doing some research and trying to figure out how to fix things, right? And uh, Western Equipment, which funny enough, is also one of the new sponsors with 247parts.com. So being a relatively new 333G skid steer owner myself, Brent has a great series of videos all about the 333, and this was one of them. So you measure from here down to the inside of the track, you wanna be about an inch to an inch and a half from, from that distance, the bottom of the, the wheel to the track. We're at about two inches right now, so we gotta shoot some grease in there and tighten that up. And it may seem obvious, it's kind of cool, kind of fun, but we had to prop up the, the track by uh, rocking the bucket forward. So you want to get all five of those center idlers off the ground before you get to work. I got to try to get some of this mud out of here just to make sure it's not pinned in between anything and going to be affecting the measurements. That should be fun to do. it up though. Give it a little pivot room.
let's see what we're working with here. We're gonna make it a little, just a touch tighter. Okay, clean that up first. Let's see here. Uh, about an inch and a quarter, not quite. So that's right in the sweet spot there. All right, we're gonna knock out this side. We did the track, now we're gonna do the nine zerks all along the loader arm. All right, well, we're already out of grease in this cartridge, gonna swap it out. Now I am all out of the MOS2, which is one of the two common greases that are kind of like a general purpose grease. So we're gonna go ahead and switch over to what we have. Gonna be the G200EP. Again, all you do, unscrew the cap right there. And so you can see, this is a brand new, brand new tube. You're just gonna push up a little bit. You can see right when it gets to the top, that's when you're good, okay? Uh -huh. At that point, we're gonna simply screw it in here. But if you do a lot of greasing, or you know how much of a pain it is to change traditional cartridges, you can see how easy that was to do. up or something so we made kind of a mess on this one it seems like something's plugged up in there I don't know the end of it was completely clean but it's just jammed up it's like popping off when it gets on there nothing else is going in maybe it's maybe it's due to the way that everything's sitting just a little bit of extra pressure on there we'll try it again after we lower these tracks down when we get the other side done if you got something to say about that why don't you leave a comment down below? So we got one side completely done now. We're gonna go ahead and just wipe off the extra grease, just try to clean it up a little bit so it's not a sloppy mess. And we'll do the other side. One of the great things about the system is you can switch greases from one type to another. The only downside is you're gonna lose a little bit that's in the hose. You know, take a few pumps, I don't know, it could be five or 10 pumps, whatever it is, just squeeze it out. You have a little bit of loss, but it's a great way to transition from one grease to the other. Right, skid steer's all done. We're gonna go ahead and hit the loader here. I think there's six on each side of the 1025. I know we have a couple others around here too, but gonna knock these out, get the 4720, then come back around and hit the other accessory ones. These down by the bucket always tend to be the nastiest so do a good job there prevent clogging them up <laughs> 
most of you probably already know, but you basically add grease until you see it start to come out around the fitting. You see it start to pump out down there a little bit, kind of hard to see, but kind of tucked back in here. That's what it's lubricating, this joint uh, between the two pieces of steel. Okay, we're on to the 4720. This one has 11 zerks per side on the loader. This is a self-leveling loader. So like this extra bar that's here and this contraption, it allows it to, if you have pallet forks is always a good example, leave those forks level as you raise up and down uh, with this extra bracketry that's on here. But that also means there's a few extra zerks, maybe three extras, something like that. But we're gonna go ahead and get this knocked out. Boy, this one seems a little dry. Right. Okay, we just got everything greased up. You know, I forgot to mention, one of the reasons you want to grease often besides the fact that you need to per your manual is it gets you pretty close and intimate with your tractor. So I noticed a little bit of cosmetic damage, maybe being a little aggressive with the skid steer, which, you know, I am at times, but the 4720 was doing pretty good. You know, same thing with the 1025R, but you can get a close look at your cylinders, you know, even at your tires, just at your, your loader frame, see if you're maybe rubbing something repetitively, wearing paint off, just all those kinds of things that who knows how they may crop up, but if you're close to your tractor on a regular basis, every 10 hours or so you're supposed to grease your loader, it's gonna keep you more in tune with your tractor. Again, check out Lube Shuttle. It really is a great greasing system. I get a commission off of it. You save a little bit with code GWT. I know a lot of you folks have this. I hear about it all the time from you. If you have this system, let us know if you like it or not. Give some other buyers some confidence. But enough about this boring maintenance. Let's go talk about some new tractor attachments. All right, so I got to start with what I think is the coolest one first, which is the Yapa Firewood Processor. This specific model, Yapa 365 Pro. You gotta take a look at the other side, what makes this so incredibly unique. Now, this may look familiar to some of you guys owning a tractor, but you have a three point hitch connection here and a PTO spline. So yeah, this can be powered by your tractor, your rear PTO, you can hook it up right on here and move it around as well if you need to transport it. So it's very convenient. You don't have a separate engine to maintain. Everything on this entire conveyor, this entire processor is gonna be driven by your PTO. So I can't wait to get to know this piece of equipment. We're actually gonna fly in uh, Bob from Mesa Machines. He's the only distributor in the whole US for these uh, Yapa firewood processors here. You may have seen the Ultratech trailers that we did a video on the summer. Same distributor for those. And then also he's a representative for Rami, uh, which is like snow blowers, flail mowers, cutters for four wheelers and for ATVs, UTVs, that kind of thing. So we're able to ship any of those brands. We ship them right from Wisconsin where he's located to try to keep the shipping cost down. They're not gonna come into us and then ship out to you because that'd be kind of redundant on the shipping. So stay tuned, a lot of cool stuff coming here. You can see this is a whole conveyor that will go out. You can put it into a dump trailer, just stack it up in a big pile if you want to as well you're gonna to wanna to check it out. Now to go along with the processor, this is gonna be an infeed log rack that you set up next to it. So it's gonna tie in, you can 
pull a lever or a switch or something, it's gonna end feed another log to be split and cut up. So you can load everything onto this with your tractor, with your loader, a grapple, set of pallet forks, whatever you want to, stack a bunch on there, and then just get to work. What you're staring at right now is a Wallenstein skidding winch or a logging winch. This is the model FX85. We are a Wallenstein rep as well, so we can sell these and ship them all over the country like anything else. But I've never used one, right? I got all this land out here to try to be a playground for tractor equipment, show you guys in videos what it's all about, learn as we go. So if you have tips, advice on any of this equipment, pitfalls on what to look for, I would like to know about it. But they make these in a lot of different sizes so you can get one appropriate or the right match for your tractor. You can see it's kind of cool. It also has a little uh, hitch on there too so you can pull the trailer along or something else um, if you're not using just the, the winch for logging right now too. But again, it's three point hitch, rear PTO driven, so that's how it's powered. Obviously has a safety shield and everything else on here. I know you can get them with steel cables, synthetic cables, some different options on there, but pretty cool, more to come. So for me, I'm particularly excited about this because we have a lot of steep hills here, areas where I can't get a piece of equipment to, so we can stretch this cable out, wrap it around the log, and yank it back uphill without being in danger. So I got this in thinking I was gonna have enough time to do a video with it this fall, but I just simply ran out of time. But this is a cultipacker. So for you guys that are doing food plots, even if you're doing lawn preparation or reseeding, this can come in really handy. This tool is specifically meant for seed to soil contact and proving that so that you have better seed germination. So if you're gonna till up your ground and then you're gonna spread some seed with a seed spreader, you come through afterwards, you roll this on top of it, it's gonna really press it down firmly and improve your chances for germination. <laughs> These things right here look like they're the head of a, a transformer or something. They are a, a, a log grapple, okay? So they're very beefy, they're built to take a beating, really, you know? So uh, this company's out of Canada. Uh, they're kind of a, I think, a partner company to Bomalite up there, but you can see just, a, I think this is half inch steel that you have all around here. This stuff is, is thick, it's nasty. And you can get it with this bottom bar here as well. I think this is optional, maybe it's standard, I don't know for sure, but it's bolted on. So if you wanna have individual teeth on the bottom, you can. If you wanna have it going across for support or for a, a flatter, wider surface, you can do that as well. You might notice the two that we have at the moment are gonna be for John Deere quick attach. We can get these for your skid steer quick attach as well. Some of these items, until we kinda of have a feel of how many we may sell, just because of not knowing demand, they're gonna be made to order, right? So once we kind of have a better idea, we'll start to order more and try to keep stock coming in or flowing in periodically at least. So this thing right here, I am really darn excited to try out. I know that they use these a lot on skid steers. You probably have to have a pretty big tractor, I think, to be effective with this, but it's a tree puller. So you see these jaws here, these big old gator jaws, they hydraulically clamp together. Well, or you can saw a tree down. They've got this sawtooth edge on the outside if you want to give that a shot. But this thing is meant to rip a tree out, roots and all. I don't know how big you can go yet. I still got to look into that, figure it out. So this unit right here is from Precision. You can see what it's sitting on is actually a, uh, a screen that gets bolted on right here in this place. So it'll be sitting up here and being protective of the operator behind there. I also got in one of these or a couple of these from uh, Martach as well. I was just getting what I could right now for inventory. So we're gonna have a couple of different options there in stock right now. And obviously we can order more. Okay, so we have a couple of grapples that we got in from Precision as well. So this unit here is one of the clamshell style that's becoming really popular. I really enjoy it myself too. But this unit is really lightweight. You can see where they're trying to cut weight out where they can, but it's a very high strength design, so it doesn't sacrifice that. Made in America, which is awesome as well. Now this unit here is 60 inches wide. They have a lot of different widths. They have a lot of different products in general on Precision. So how our relationship works with them is that you can order through me and we're gonna ship your order factory direct right to you. We got one more grapple from Precision in as well. And I think this is gonna solve a pain point for a lot of folks that have one of those pinned buckets. One that's not a quick attach. You don't have a John Deere quick attach or a skid steer quick attach. You have to pound out pins to take your bucket off. Well, this solution is called an add a grapple. And so you can leave your bucket on. You can bolt on a grapple jaw to the top of it. You still have to add on some third function hydraulics that Precision can help you out with too. But it's gonna give you a grapple solution for you folks that don't have a quick attach bucket on there. It's a really nice option to look into. There's gonna be different sizes, okay? So we have to pull some information from you, get your bucket width, get your tractor size, all that kind of good stuff 
cut that you would expect, and then we're going to size it appropriately to fit your bucket. All right, that's going to wrap it up for today. I hope you enjoyed that sneak peek at some new equipment that's coming soon. We have all sorts of ways to use this equipment out here, so we can't wait to show you. Don't forget, grease your tractor. Use that loop shuttle greasing system. Save 5% off the code GWT. You order from their website. You can find the link down below or from our website. Lead you right there if you need to. Do me a big favor. Give me a thumbs up. Leave a comment down below. Subscribe to see more. And if you want something for your tractor, check out GoodWorksTractors.com. Thanks so much for taking the time to stop by. And until next time, stay safe. We'll see you soon.